What's going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm showcasing you guys how to play Super Smash Bros. Ultimate on the PC for the Yuzu emulator. Now, before we get started with this video, please make sure you guys leave a like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Let's get it. Alrighty, first things first, everything you guys will need for to play Super Smash Bros. Ultimate on the PC with the Yuzu emulator, well, everything will be in the description down below. So make sure you guys check that out. Now, first things first, you're gonna go to the Yuzu, em uh, Yuzu emulator website. And when you get there, you're gonna go to Deload, aka Download, and you're gonna download for Windows 64. Right, we're gonna wait for that to load up. And then after it's done, you're gonna click on it. You're gonna install the base version of the Patreon build. And then this is gonna take uh, a couple of seconds. All right, I exit out of that. All right, now if you see this, this is totally normal. I'm gonna showcase you guys how to fix that. Just press okay on that. Uh, collect anonymous data to help you improve your em uh, emulator. Just press yes on that. And then after that, we're basically gonna close that desktop. Close that up. And then after that, you're gonna do percent app data. And then you're gonna look for Yuzu. And then you go to keys. And then you drag and drop the keys right here. And after that, you just close it. And then you're gonna open up the Yuzu emulator. Now, you don't see that error anymore because you basically fixed it with the keys. Uh, after that, we're going to configure, mess around the settings a little bit. I'm going to the UI. Make it color for dark to make it more appealing to the eyes. Then you can configure it again. Now when you're messing with system, usually on default, everything is good. Graphics, uh, I wouldn't, to be honest with you, the default settings are good, are usually good. You can mess around with these, depends how good your PC is, but usually the default um, settings are usually good. Now, if you really try and get the best out of your experience playing games online, I would consider using the video control panel to improve your experience, but usually, you guys can do both, but if you really, really wanna get a, a good experience playing Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, on, on a PC with, with the user emulator is basically mess around with your NVIDIA control panel. I made a previous video explaining how to do that. So you guys can check that out. I may link it down below. Depends how I feel towards that. All right, after that, you're gonna go to controls. Now usually the automatically the controls, if you plug in your either your Xbox One, uh, Xbox Series X controller, PS4 or PS5 controller, or even your Nintendo Switch controller, it should read it automatically, but if it doesn't read it automatically, uh, my suggestion is go to input and put your controller. Now automatically, it should already be like this. So I'm gonna test it out real quick. Okay, just say okay on that, whatever. See, it should automatically read your controller as soon as you put it in and input device. Keep in mind with that. If it doesn't read that for some reason, uh, there's something internally wrong with your PC, but I can make a separate video on how to fix that. It's just a simple and easy fix. You just need to download a software and then you're basically good to go. All right, just press okay on that. And then after that, when you got everything set up, um, the settings, your controller is set up and you got keys. Now you guys are gonna need the game. Now I do name, always make a disclaimer before I do this, before I showcase you guys how to get it. Only do this if you have the hard copy or digital copy of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. If you guys don't have the hard copy or digital copy, I do not condone you guys doing this at all because that's totally, you're technically not emulating. Emulation is technically you emulating a game that you already have. Basically dump, AKA dumping, or you're just playing a game you already own. If you guys do not have it, I highly recommend you guys getting it from the eShop or buying it 
and then after that you can come back and come to this video that's the main purpose i'm only doing this for educational purposes only nothing more nothing less all right after you got that out of the way i'm gonna showcase you guys how to do that just you guys making a new folder but usually when you deload it it usually give you your own folder so you don't need to worry about that too much and then after that you double click in the middle go to desktop and then you go to um highlight it and then select folder and then boom voila smash smash ultimate pop up with all the dlc already installed to it which is kind of dope but i did it through the torrent method all right and after that you just double click it usually when you first booting up something it tends to um kind of crash that's usually normal because at the end of the day this emulation emulator is still in beta but I cannot show too much of this uh, due to the fact that if I show that I will get cleaned and I'm not trying to do that at all. Probably as soon as I show this, I had to cut this part of the video off because I'm the number one targeted channel when Nintendo love cleaning when it comes to emulation content and showing gameplay to it. Nintendo does not like my channel at all, but that's, that's, that's comes with the grain of salt um, of doing this. So. That's basically about it. If you guys enjoyed this video or find this video any helpful at all, feel free to either like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And I see you guys in the next video. Peace out.